So today we're continuing a series that I actually started back in April, but unfortunately, thanks to YouTube giving me a strike for showing you how to use Sling TV free, I was unable to continue that series for a while, but the strike is gone and we are back. And today we're looking at another free app for your Fire Stick and Video Shield. It's compatible with pretty much every single device, including browser for movies, TV shows, and even some live TV content. Now, the purpose of this series is to have all of these apps, including paid ones, reviewed, showing you how to install, and showing you all of them without you having to purchase or try them yourself first. So that way you know exactly which app to get for the kind of content you wanna watch, whether it's free or maybe some more premium content. Now, if you guys are new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button right down below. Give this video a big thumbs up and like always, comment down below whether it's a question about your device or something about your video and I will be answering all of the comments for the first few hours of the video. As well, if you have a second, go and follow us on Instagram. We are trying to get to a thousand followers by the end of July. The link is down below. Let's get into today's video. So being a series, we have to do more than just show you how to install the app. I also want to go over some tips and tricks of the app, what content is inside the app, what devices it's available on. So let's start with the device. This app is available on your Fire Stick, your Fire TV, your Nvidia Shield, Android Box, Chromecast, your phone even, your web browser. So every device, pretty much everything you can think of, this app is available on. Now, today we're showing you on the Fire TV. The process will be essentially the same for every other device. If there's a device you can't get it on, let me know and I'll try to help you out down below. So for this one, we want to go to the App Store. Now today's free app that we're looking at, once we get to our search bar right here, we're gonna type in, I know my head is in the way, Tubi TV. Now we're gonna go over some crazy tips and tricks that I bet you didn't know about Tubi TV, so make sure you stick around for this. But this is basically like free Netflix, and they've done a great job not only developing the app with good content, including current movies and TV shows, but making it an actual enjoyable experience. So you can download and install it right here. The next thing we're gonna do is go over the content and what content is available on it before we get into some of the deeper features. So we're gonna go ahead and pull it up right now. Now it works on, like I said, any device, uh, but more importantly, you don't need to create an account. You can actually just use your guest account, your guest mode. Okay, so we're gonna start by going over the content because Tubi TV has one of the most impressive libraries for TV shows and movies that you're gonna find. And to be honest, it's not even close. Now it has a really similar interface to Netflix really. So if you go to the left-hand side here, there's a kids section, which we'll go through in a few minutes. You have your search function, your home, which is gonna give you recommendations, your my stuff, your categories, your networks, which are separate networks such as FilmRise that offer their content on Tubi. Now, if you were in the United States, and another trick I'll show you after is the live TV section, and I'll show you how to unlock that if you're not in a country that has it available. Now, if you register for an account, a lot of these settings are going to save, so that would be the benefit. The settings tab does have a few other things that we can switch here, such as closed captions, uh, video previews, I like to turn those off. Same with auto start, um, just to get rid of the stuff that plays in the background. But otherwise, there's no reason to ever really go into settings. Now, as for the content, you're gonna see a lot of really high quality titles from like the early 2000s, but you're also gonna see stuff that was from like 2020, 2021, sometimes 2022. So there actually is quality content on here, and that's because Tubi pays for the content via ads so yes at the beginning of a movie you may have to watch an ad halfway through you may have to watch an ad but it's a very little price to pay for all of this completely free content so everything's nicely categorized i like to go to the categories here click on it and you can kind of just pick one that you want to check out so if you want to see anime right they have freaking sailor moon listen I, I i'm not the only guy that likes sailor moon it wasn't that bad okay it was a good show uh Yu -Yo, naruto right sonic x like they actually have good quality anime in here as well is that god slayer right there or what is that uh, digimon okay they have digimon uh so yeah like all the classics pretty much i know they have pokemon content somewhere here as well uh, and that's just from one category 
Um, so I'm not going to go too much more into this. We're going to move on to the kids section here after before we get into some tips and tricks. So let's go into the kids section now. Now this has pretty much locked content for your kids. So in order to exit, your kids have to put in their birthday which I guess is like a small verification step that at least allows you to, it can be any birthday over the age of 18. So it's like a very small verification step, but I'll show you that in a second. So in the kids section, it's legit content that should only be acceptable for kids. So if you're worried about what they're gonna watch on Netflix or other platforms, this is a really, really great option. Now, obviously Netflix has like kids profiles. This is basically the equivalent to it. So they actually have like a lot of good classic shows and movies and not just stuff that I watched when I was a kid, but stuff that's a little bit more recent. Um, Cody Banks, classic banger back in the day. I don't know what happened to the Malcolm in the Middle kid, but uh, I'm assuming he, like every other Disney star, probably ended up on drugs. Hopefully not. Fingers crossed. Uh, so like uh, Cat in the Hat, All Dogs, Christmas Carol, like cr tons of Christmas stuff, Toon TV, like they have Mr. Bean cartoon uh casper the ghost sonic hedgehog so just a lot of good content for your kids as well and they have categories as well in a search function now if you want to exit kids you click here it's going to ask you to confirm your age and you just put in what year you were born so most like little kids wouldn't think to do the math or know what to put in so it's, i guess they could guess it but it's like very small verification levels now i'm going to go ahead and show you the first trick with 2b tv now every country is geo locked to a service to a country so that means you only get content that they have the licensing for in that country so for 2b tv that is no different they have free content available but it's going to change depending on what country you're in now there's a way to unlock the content from other countries and i'm going to show you that right there on 2b tv you see there is no way to watch live tv and that's because live tv is only available in some parts for 2b tv so what you're going to do is we're going to go ahead and install a VPN. So we're going to go to our search section here. We're going to type in, let's go back, Express VPN, and it's going to pop up right here. Now, the reason why I use Express is A, it's one of the most affordable ones on the market um, for paid and reliable and really high quality VPNs. Uh, and I have a great possible deal right here. So if you click right here, this link upgradeguy.link slash express VPN, it brings you to our personalized page where you can get three months free. You can purchase it here. It's just an option guys. If you like what you see and what it does, then it might be worth getting. So let's set it to the United States. Now, the only thing that's left to do is we have to go close to BTV. And the reason for this is we have to reset it. So it can like recognize the VPN when it boots up. So we're just going to go to our apps manage installed apps and we're going to scroll down until we find tubi tv right here we're going to force stop we're going to click it one more time and we're going to launch the application and now you're going to see in this top hand corner there is going to be a live tv option as well so this will also work if you're in the united states and you want to check out the canadian content or the united kingdom content or whatever other, I think it's available in Germany and a few other countries. And that could also mean different live TV. So look at the top here. Now we have these toggle menus, including live TV. And if you're in Canada, you're missing out a ton of stuff on Tubi Live and on Tubi uh, for TV shows and movies as well. Because you also get a lot more of that as we move on through the content. Um, and this has hundreds and hundreds of channels to check out. So they're not messing around here. And that's everything for today's video, guys. If you enjoyed it, check out the number two video I did on another live TV streaming app for your Fire Stick that gives you hundreds of free channels. I'll see you guys in the next one.